worship tonight hallelujah Jesus Holy Spirit you are welcomed here come Listen. love this place and feel the atmosphere I don't know about you but I know about Stanley Joseph back in 1983 when my mother was pregnant and I had one of my uncles. He used to be part of the Haitian army. I was born in Haiti. I grew up in Haiti. And he was so jealous because of my mother's pregnancy. He took a knife to cut my mother's belly. To kill me. You're not here by mistake. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Y'all acting way too treacherous for me. I'm not here for you. I'm here for the Lord. You're not here. With, I said I'm not here for you. I don't know who you're here for, but I'm here to magnify the Lord. I'm here to give God the praise. Uh, even if he don't do anything else, he's done enough. My God, he's done enough. My hallelujah, he's done enough. Have a spirit of gratitude tonight. I said give God the praise. If you don't praise him, the rock will praise him. If you don't praise him, the trees will praise him. If my God, my God, my God, begin to give God a praise. If you want to see the mountain shake, give God the praise. If you want to see our daughter's hill, give God the praise. If you want to see a shift in your finances, give God the praise. Good morning, saints of God. Um, this is Pastor Stanley Joseph from Pentecostal Experience Church in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Um, I'm here today with my good friend, my covering, a Pastor McFarlane Remy, Bless all the way you. from Boston, uh, Massachusetts. Amen. So, um, a Pastor, um, we're in the middle of the conference. Yes, sir. Um, the Lord is moving. The Spirit of the Lord is moving. Yes, we sir. We started last night, Amen. and um, God is moving. People has been delivered, mm -hmm. and they've been set free. So, what do you have for the people today? And we're going to be talking about faith. Okay. Your yes, faith God. in God. What yeah. do you have for the people today? Well, first of all, I just want to uh, thank you, uh, Pastor Stanley Joseph, a mighty man of God, amen, for inviting me on the set here with you, amen, with this uh, Pentecostal Experience Church broadcast, amen. Again, my name is Apostle McFarland Remy. We're out in Boston and New York, amen, and we do thank God, amen, uh, for what he's doing in this hour, amen. We are, amen, uh, pastoring the Kingdom Life Worship Center in Taunton, Massachusetts, uh, and also in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, but to just answer your question, man of God, honestly, I believe that God is doing something so magnanimous in this hour wow. that we... Amen. And, and in light of what God did last night, it was clear, amen, that we are in a place where uh, you, we don't have to wait for a move of God. Our everyday con communication with God warrants a move of God wherever we go. Wow. So last night it was evident that you have some people that don't just worship and praise God just when they come to the house of God, but they worship Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so that the glory shows up with them. And because of that, they were able to literally just tap in, amen, to the move of God and to the power that because I was actually, uh, 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 the other day, uh, my, uh, maybe about <clears throat> a week ago, I was in New York with a good friend of mine, Apostle Courtney Bradley, and he gave this analogy that uh, uh, as long as you're plugged to the current that's inside the wall, it's consistent current. So the minute you plug it, whatever power you need will flow right through. So if we stay plugged in, amen, and that's what I 
that picked up last night. You have a lot of people that were at the conference last, last night that are plugged in. Please so not. because they're plugged in, the power was already there. And that's why you could feel, oh my God, the, the anointing people of God is second to none. So, sir, I'm telling you right now, there's something great that is taking place. And last night, it was clearly evident that the power of God was present. And, and um, you guys know that faith without expectation mm. will produce nothing. Come on. There has to be expectation to your faith. Let's That's say right. you come to the house of God. Mm -hmm. There has to be expectation. That's right. Because God will move according to your expectation. Yes, sir. Because the Bible declares in Hebrew chapter 11, mm -hmm. faith yes. is now. That a is shot. substance. Yes, sir. In the Greek mm -hmm. is the word eupostonis, mm -hmm. is now. Mm -hmm. Anything you need from God is now. now. Even mm -hmm. If you don't have it yet, That's right. it's now. now Praise on. the Lord. Right. We have different types of faith. We have great faith. Mm. We have unwavering faith. Mm -hmm. We have little faith. We have all these type of faith. And you got to come to the conclusion that I come mm -hmm. to the house of God to receive That's right. an impartation. Mm -hmm. See, the reason why I believe that the Lord is not moving in a lot of churches mm -hmm. is because there is not faith. Come what on. do you mean by that, man of God? You come to a house... Where people come to worship. Mm -hmm. The Bible says where two or three are gathered, are gathered in, in my name, name. That's right. there come I am on. in the midst. That's correct. So when you come to the house of God, people mm -hmm. of God, there has to be faith. That's right. Even when you don't see it. Mm -hmm. Even when it don't seem right. Even when everything is breaking around you, you got to stay on unwavering faith. faith. That's right. you, your faith mm -hmm. cannot waver. My God, yes. even when you're crying, you yes. got to cry in tears. Mm -hmm. Let me say this to you. A lot of people come to the house of God mm -hmm. crying. That's right. God will not move by your tears. That's right. He moves by your faith. faith that's right. So behind your faith, behind your tears, mm -hmm. there has to be faith. That's so, right. Apostle. Yes, sir. So, talk to us about faith. Faith, man of God. Um, you, you, you already have my juices flowing. Praise God. Because Praise the when Lord. you talk about faith, we can go very quickly to the book of Hebrews. Amen. And I always like to say that, um, you know, Hebrews is very special to me because, um, you know, uh, Hebrews is, uh, I always think about Hebrews when I'm drinking coffee. Wow. <laughs> you know why? Because Hebrews. Okay, wow. that was corny. But we're going to go on to Hebrews. Watch yes, this. Man. Yes, Chapter sir. 11. This is the key. Chapter 11. And then he says this is now, now faith. That word now, in fact, means that whatever you believe God for is actually done now. Now. The physical manifestation of what you see mm. is not when it happened. My God. The fact that you believed it now. My God. And have received it now. It's so now. Mm. That's why he says faith is the substance. Yes, sir. And the thing is that I try to help people understand, watch mm. this man of God, that substance in, in its raw nature, let's say, for example, if uh, uh, um, your church, man of God, just, just give me an example, because, of course, now we know that the pews, we, we, a lot of churches have, have moved away from pews mm. to chairs, what have wow. you, but just for wow. uh, 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 the, 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 the explanation, say, yes, sir. when you yes, have, sir. Uh, uh, let's say, mm. pews and you have the wood that yes, makes sir. the pews, mm. but at the same time you have uh, uh, the pulpit that's made out of wood, mm. and then you also have the Lord's uh, table, the Lord's supper, the community yes, table, I'm made out of wood. Three different objects, but the same substance. My God. Meaning that when God is creating something, Teach. it is already a completed thing in God's mind My and God. in his spirit. Wow. So that's what then he does is he, then he turns around and releases a word My God. to somebody that would receive that word mm. in seed form mm. and then turns around as when somebody receives that word in seed form, then they release a corresponding action that proves that they believe God. Mm. Watch this. And so that's how faith is activated. But we, let, we want to first break it down and understand that faith is substance, mm. meaning that if you have different objects, Come on now. And yet the same substance, mm -hmm. what that says to me is you can have different situations, but if you have the substance of faith, wow. the same faith that saved you is the same faith that heals you. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't hear what I just mm -hmm. said. The same faith that heals you wow. is the same faith that delivers your loved one. My the God. same faith that delivers your loved one is the same faith that can get you a brand new car, My that God. can get you the promotion on Hallelujah. the job, that can open the door. Come on here, somebody. The Lord. Same, come on here, different situations. 
actions, mm. but same substance. substance. Come yes, on. God. So the substance is faith. And then the thing is that his amazing thing about it is that in order for that substance My to God. be activated, mm. is this helping anybody? Praise God. For this substance to be activated, watch this. Mm. He says now, things are, uh, it is the substance of things hoped for. Yes, sir. The evidence mm, mm. of things not seen. Yes, sir. Now, mm. when we understand the word evidence, man of God, mm. in the court of law, you mm. you you know that it's not what you say, but My what you can prove. My God. Come on in. So now, evidence. yes, evidence. That's yes. the key word. Wow. So what God does mm. then, he releases a word. Wow. That wow. actually, because faith comes by hearing, hearing. and mm. hearing by the word of God. Wow. Now, the Greek rendering for that is amazing, mm. man of mm. God. Mm. Why? Because, and I know that. This is going to bear witness with somebody's spirit. You have to make sure that it is a word from God. Why? Wow. Because any word can bring faith. My God. Y'all didn't hear wow. what I'm saying. Why? Because the doctor can tell you that you only have six months to live. Yes, sir. And if you believe what the doctor says, wow. you will actually frame a picture in your mind wow. of your body being in a coffin mm. before you get there. Wow. But because you believe that word, wow. that everything that has to do with that word starts to manifest it itself. Manifestation exactly. In. That's My what I'm God. saying. Wow. So you have to make sure that it is a word from oh God, God because any word can bring faith. My God. But when you, that's, wow. why, that's why the Bible even says, whose report are you going to believe? believe? So when you hear a word from God that bears witness with the word of God, come on here. Now when you release your faith, yes, you have to have a corresponding action Hallelujah. or evidence yes. to prove that you believe. My God. When, uh, wow. glory be it, it's like it's mm. like saying mm -hmm. you go into the doctors yes. and they're saying to you, um, you have cancer and you have three months to leave. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? Come Which on. report shall you believe? Yes, sir. Here's the report you have to believe. Yes. By his stripes, right. come on. I am healed. Yes, sir. You gotta say, Doc, I know you went to school. Uh -huh. I know you got the degree. That's right. But there is a doctor. Come on. His name is Jehovah Rapha. Robo the doctor per excellence. You I don't know who this so. is. I feel the Holy Ghost. I don't know who this is. Glory but we're here to encourage you. Yes. We're here to let you know that yes. God, God is with you. My when you hit right by God is with you. Yes, he when is. you're going through a divorce, come on. God is with you. Yes. When you don't have a job, God yes. is with you. Yes. When you're in the hospital. Let me say this to somebody mm -hmm. right now who's mm -hmm. watching. Yes. June 2015, my wife was diagnosed with lupus. You better speak, man of God. And mm. um, I didn't know what to do. I was switching in New York for two weeks. When I came back to Florida, she was already in the hospital bed. Mm -hmm. And she lost her memory by 200%. And the doctor told me, the kid, the doctor told me, she had to go on dialysis. And I said, Doc, um, I will not let my wife go on dialysis. He said, well, if she doesn't go on dialysis, she's going to, I said, let her die. Hmm. I told the doctor that I believe in God. He told me God has nothing to do with this. <laughs> my God. And I, I, I remember, I, I said to myself, Lord, I said, Lord, if you are the God of Elijah, mm -hmm. let him eat that word yep. that he just spoken That's right. to my wife. That's right. And it was a couple of days later, he went back to the hospital and said, I see that her kidneys are functioning better. Mm. A month later, my wife went to his clinic and he told my wife, I see that your kidneys are functioning above 100. <laughs> what am I saying to you today? On, I'm not just talking about faith. On, I walk, walk in faith. Yes. I yes. walk. Mm -hmm. I talk in my God. That's the reason. If I tell you, mm -hmm. my God, God is going to heal you, he's going to heal you. That's Why? Right. Because I see healing That's in right. my own house. That's right. That's I right. saw my wife. I, I, right. I was saying, Lord, what am I going to do? Yes, sir. She's yes, about sir. to die. But I mm -hmm. said, Lord, mm -hmm. you are my source. That's right. You are the doctor. Mm -hmm. May I submit to you on today, uh, what you're going through right now is not you to destroy you. That's right. That's right. But to catapult mm -hmm. you to where God will take My you. My God. It's here to make you better. That's right. I am anointed for the battle. Yeah. So, Apostle. Yes, sir. Um, you part of the conference. Yes, you're going to be speaking tonight. Yes, sir. And God is doing great thing in his ministry. Um, 
God has been good to you. Yes, sir. God has been good to you. Yes, sir. So I know you teach about faith yes, sir. all the time. You're traveling. You're yes, traveling sir. to uh, all over the world. Yes, sir. And, and, and God is using you. I, I, I've Thank seen you, how the Spirit of the Lord uh, uses you. Man of God, what can you tell someone right now mm -hmm. who's going through a, 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 a challenge, someone who's going through a divorce, mm -hmm. someone right now who has her kid in jail, someone Jesus. who has her, her kid in, in, in prison, someone mm -hmm. who has a Loved one in the in hospital. What can you say to them right now? The first thing that I can say, man of God, is number one, your God is alive. My God. Because you understand this right here that when the Bible talks about faith mm -hmm. and he talks about now faith, wow. it's because God is concerned about your situation right now. Right now. And wow. he already has a solution to mm -hmm. whatever problem. And the thing is that the reason why I, say, I can say that, man of God, is that God is a provider. Wow. And the reason wow. why I say that is wow. because if all God gave you was what you needed when you needed it, wow. he would be relegated to a supplier. Wow. But what God is, he's a provider, means that he's already made provision wow. before the need came about. Mm. And this is the truth wow. because wow. he actually even provided a lamb that was already slain before the, the foundation, foundation of, of the world. world. But for, come mm. on here, somebody. So what wow. I'm trying to tell somebody is there is mm. absolutely, positively, nothing that you're going through that God doesn't already have an answer for it. And I promise you wow. that God wow. is getting rid wow. because of the very fact that you're mm. watching this broadcast, God is already turning some things around right now mm. in your favor. And to the person that feels like there My is God. absolutely no hope, wow. I came to tell you that if you will believe God, My. if you will keep mm. trusting in God, God. Will, oh, shine, God will begin to turn things around in your favor. And the reason why I say that, man of God, is because Whenever the judge, amen, whenever you can prove your case, My whenever God. you can release corresponding My action wow. to prove to the judge, wow. God himself, My that God. you believe him, then what the judge does, he rules in your favor. God. So God told Hallelujah. me to tell somebody that if you can just prove to him, that's what happened, man of God. Ooh. When you gave God evidence that if I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down believing your word. God. And God is not a man that he should and the lie. Bible even Come says on, some died in faith. Yes. They didn't even see the promise. promise. Yeah. But yet the thing is that you wow. put yourself in a wow. position where you said, God, if I'm going down, I'm going to wow. go down believing My you. God. And wow. because God has never lost a battle, My and God. he understands this, that if you go wow. down, it's his, his name, name is at stake. So what he had to do was to show up. Wow. And when he showed up, glory be to God, My what God. that did is it increased your level of faith. Hallelujah. So that you would always remember that the same God who did it yesterday today, yes. is the same God that's going to do it today. Mm. And the same God that's going to be with you tomorrow mm. because he never changes. Mm. He's still the same yesterday, today, today and forever. And for good God. My, so I can encourage Lord. somebody wow. today, Lord have mercy, mm. that what, oh, I feel the anointing of God. My that God. God is about to turn your situation around. So like, it's already turning around oh, God. and if, where it concerns the conference this is what I can tell somebody man of God. and this is, a, this is proof woman of God, amen prophetess Jillian flew out from California, My God. believed God Wow. Use her last resources to get there. Wow. And last night, God answered her faith My. and began to move. Jesus. Come on here, somebody. Y'all don't hear That's what I'm saying. That's what the Bible says. Faith Woo, without words glory to God. is mm. dead. Yes, sir. you saying, Lord, yes. I need a car. But uh -huh. when was the last time you went to the car? Come lounge? on, come on, man of God. you saying to the Lord, I need a house. Uh -huh. When was the last time you yes. went to the neighbor and say, That's the house I'm believing God, God for? Yes. My God. Mm. Let, let me say this to you. Ooh, um, a lot of people God. see my face, you know, they say, You young, uh -huh. you know, stop with the nonsense, but let me say this to you. I have a testimony. That's right. I'll never forget, back in 2006, there was an incident that happened mm. in our house. My wife was facing 30 years in prison. Wow. 30 years <laughs> in prison. You know, my, my, my head was just spinning. How you just got married and you know, the sin was going to take her away. She was guilty as charged. Mm -hmm. She was guilty as charged. She was going back and forth to the courthouse, go before the judge. And I'll never forget, all the lawyers, all the, 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 the defenders, they said she has to go to prison for 30 years. 
But when my wife appeared before the judge, hmm. the judge told my wife, the judge has the last say. Yeah, Who on, is the judge? Come on, that's what Jesus is your come judge. On, God. My God, my, he's the intercessor. <laughs> he's interceding for you right now yes. at the right hand of the Father. That's right. There is no situation that is so great. Nothing take God right. by surprise. That's right. Nothing in nothing whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It takes you by surprise. Right, yes. Let me say this to you. When she got before the judge, the judge told everybody, you guys are right, she deserves it. But I will not send her even to jail for one day. <laughs> My God. I said 30 years. Come on now. She didn't even go to, I, I'm not going to say prison. She didn't even go to jail even for one day. That's God. That's what you call unwavering faith. Great faith. But prophet, there was something you did, though. My God. There was something that you did. And I My remember God. you giving me that testimony. Yes, sir. This man of God mm -hmm. and his wife believed God at a Benny Hinn conference. Yes, sir. And sold a thousand dollars. You see, you, oh, mm -hmm. God, see, now you're about to get me started again. Mm -hmm. Because there is a direct correlation yes, sir. between seed and the word of God. Yes, sir. And seed being, a, being the only thing yes, that sir. can break a cycle. a cycle. Yes, sir. And because you release seed mm -hmm. and you receive seed. Yes, sir. Because you receive the word of God, My God. and you also release the seed My as God. evidence yes, sir. that you believe God's word. Hallelujah. So what happened is wow. that on that day wow. Wow. at the courthouse, the Holy Ghost showed up. Come on here, somebody, My God. and turn that yes. verdict around. around. So I'm telling somebody My. that if you will believe and release your faith, mm -hmm. and that is your corresponding action that simply says, I, that proves to God, God that you believe, My. I promise you, he is going to rule hey. in your your favor, Hallelujah. and I promise you, I don't know uh, who this is for, but they need to get there at the conference, man. At the God. conference. Listen, uh, um, glory, glory be to God. Um, we went to a mm. service back in 2008. Jesus. At the Benny Hinn service in mm -hmm. Miami, Florida, and we didn't even have $1,000. We only had like $800 and some change. My God. We sold the seed mm. into the Benny Hinn uh, ministry. My God. It was less than two years when she went before the judge. And the verdict was overturned. My God. What am I saying to you today? Whatever you believe in God for, yes. sow a seed. Because the seed is the only thing that can break a cycle. She Some of you are in the cycle right now. Mm. You're saying, Lord, so, Lord, how do I come out? But God is saying to you, sow a seed now. Hmm. Go to www.pentecostalexperience.org. www. Pentecostal experience that or mm -hmm. to sow a seed that I help the ministry to go forward to sow a seed that I take you out of the cycle. Right. Let me say this to you. In order for a woman to get pregnant, there has to be a seed. That's correct, man of God. The only thing that can get a woman pregnant is the a seed. seed. That's right. The seed stops the cycle. Come on. Whatever cycle you've been oh, going my through, my God, my God, sow a seed, but I can't take it sow a seed, mm. and see how the Lord is going to break the cycle oh, for you. My God, what are you believing God, God for, for today? Yes, yes. What are you believing mm. God for? Mm, 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 the Bible mm, declares in Luke six thirty eight, "Give, it and shall it be, be given." given. Unto you. Press down, Press down yeah. shaking yeah. together, yeah. shaman, mm -hmm. give unto your bosom. Yeah. The what you give with is what's gonna get getting ready to bless you. Yes, let God. Be the center of your life. Mm -hmm. We're not here to give you. Uh, 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 we're not here to talk about gimmicks. I've seen it. Yes. I have seen it in my ministry. Yes. I've seen it. I've seen it when I'm ministering. I've seen it in yes. other people's lives. My God. How God changed their lives. My God. How God delivered them. There are people who are who had their kids in prison. We prayed. Yes, God. And they 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 came. There was a woman of God. We were praying for 21 days. We were fasting the Daniel fast. She said, men of God, agree with me. Let's pray so that my son can come out. We were praying, Apostle, in the same morning, mm. he got out. My God. My same God. morning he got out. There was a woman of God from New York. She was on the prayer line. She said, men of God, I don't feel good. And the Spirit of the Lord told me, just give her an instruction. Now you got to remember, come on. prophets don't come with blessings. That's right. We come with instructions. instructions. That's right. When we give you the instruction mm -hmm. from the Lord, mm -hmm. and when you honor mm -hmm. that instruction, God is going to do it. That's I correct. said, woman of God, That's take correct. some anointing oil and rub under your belly button. Mm -hmm. She did that. Mm -hmm. She told me when she went in the bathroom, <clears throat> She was having a, a problem with her menstrual cycle. She told me that whenever she would have her menstrual cycle, she would have a lot of cramps. And not just that, she would have blood clots. Jesus. 
One instruction. My God. Clear that whole situation. One instruction. My God. Mm. One instruction from the men of God. Jesus. You, you know what you're missing in your life? You're missing an apostle. Mm -hmm. You are missing a prophet. That's right. You need a prophet. The Bible declares in Hosea, by a prophet, mm -hmm. Israel came out. That's right. And by a prophet. She was preserved. Jesus. Do you want to be preserved? That's right. The prophetic and the apostolic can right. preserve you. That's right. Today. That's good. So, Apostle, do you That's have a right. last word for us? Man of God, all I can say is this right here. There are some people because the, 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 the whole teaching of faith is so broad in scope that we had to just give you a, a quick snapshot. But the truth of the matter is this right here. If you believe God, you shall be established. Yes. Believe his prophets and you will prosper. Second Chronicle 2020. Glory to God. So I'm Praise telling you right now that if you, amen, are listening to this broadcast, amen, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a man who's almost at the place, and I'm looking at you, sir, and your mm. business is Prophet failing. Side. Your mm. business is failing. But the Spirit of God would have me to tell you Praise that if Lord. you can find a way wow. to sow a seed into this ministry wow. in 13 days, and you'll mark from the day that you're watching this broadcast, in 13 days, your, min, uh, your business will completely turn around, wow. and you'll make up within the next, that, the next 30 days after that, you'll make up Hallelujah. what you couldn't make in a whole year. You'll make it within that 30 days. My Watch God. what God does, because God is getting ready to cause you to understand the whole concept and what faith is all about. So wow. I encourage you, wow. amen. Those of you that are watching, mm. please sow, amen, into this ministry. This wow. ministry, amen, is a ministry in great standing. Yes, this God. man is of God is covered by wow. me, amen, as an apostle. But I'm also covered by my apostle, Apostle Eric C. Morrison, amen, out of uh, California. And we give God the praise because when you are in right standing with God mm -hmm. and you have accountability, amen, towards uh, leaders and people that, amen, can mentor you and, and push you into the direction of the things of God, it causes a stable ministry. So I'm here to say, mm -hmm. amen, to sow into the life of this ministry, sow into the life of this man of God, because he, his ministry is in ministry in good mm -hmm. standing, and he's Hallelujah. a man of faith, a man of God, Hallelujah. a true prophet of the living God. Mm -hmm. So I encourage people, man of God, that they would come out to this conference, amen, 18966, amen, Northeast Fourth Court in Miami, and we're going to be there yes, tonight. Sir. Tomorrow night, the man of God is going to be ministering, mm -hmm. and then I'll get a chance to close out on Sunday, but I bless God for you. Thank God for you. Stay encouraged. Stay in faith because you will see the manifestation of the glory of God because you believe. Hallelujah. So you can visit the website at www.pentecostalexperience.org mm -hmm. to go there to sow your seed, um, become a partner with what the Lord is doing in Pentecostal Experience this season. Remember, if God is for you, who can be against you? Amen. Remember, Master Jesus is still on the throne. Amen. He's still performing miracles. Yes. He's still releasing the captives. Mm -hmm. The Bible declares in Luke 14, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, mm -hmm. the anointing, the yes, power. God. For he has anointed me. Yes, God. We've been anointed yeah. by God, yes, God to deliver, yes, to God. set free, yes. and to, to pull down to establish, to tear down in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. It was yours surely, Pastor Stanley Joseph from Pentecostal Experience Church Amen. and with my good friend. Amen. Thank you, Apostle. Bless you, man. God, God bless you. Bless you Thank sir. you so much. Amen.